So I guess strictly speaking it is not sunset but we are only a few hours from sunset so it is like half past seven eight ish in the evening and the sun sets around 10 and as you can see up here big beautiful uh, sun halo and i obviously had to come out and photograph it so i just packed all my stuff and just headed out and i've found this beautiful rye field here in front and i have a little bit of a hill over there so i of course want to have the hill more or less straight in the middle of my shot so i have the ground coming up on either side and kind of pointing up towards the sun and the halo it's a super simple photo very minimal and i'm shooting it with the very wide lens so i'm all the way out at like 12 millimeter and i'm shooting like that simply just to get the rye field here in the front and then also get as much of the clouds i can as possible because besides the sun and the halo we also have these beautiful feathery clouds coming out which is just absolutely gorgeous simple shot foreground the rye field and then we have the subject with the sun and the halo which is accompanied by the feathery clouds so settings wise it's also super simple i am in aperture priority iso 100 f16 i am focusing about one and a half meter into the scene and that gives me a shutter speed of 1 80th of a second even though I have the relatively fast shutter speed, I do wait for the wind to die down before I take the shot. And then I do bracket the shot just to make sure that I have all the information I need in the shadows and in the highlights. After all, I am photographing straight into the sun. So drones are wide angles. So I've come out to this long, long field here and I have seen a few trees that are standing on this long line between the fields and just here before sunset they are throwing their beautiful shadows onto the fields and it looks just absolutely gorgeous as you can see here on this drone video it looks just really really good now it's just about finding a composition and flying well within the rules. In Denmark we are not allowed to fly further up than 100 meters above terrain level. Which is pretty easy to miss a little bit. But obviously you just have to look at your height. But let's see here with this composition right here. I think it looks just absolutely fantastic it is such a minimal and simple scene and the shot is in itself super easy to get it's really just straight on don't think too much about it make sure that you have the entire histogram and that's it usually i make bursts of five shots because then i can overlay them it's not always that drone photos are the most clean. If you stack five photos and blend them in Photoshop, you can really get a nice clean photo. Since I'm photographing trees, there might be a little bit of movement between those frames. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this technique, but nevertheless, this just looks, yeah, so good, so beautiful, so simple, so minimalist. So I'm always trying a few different compositions when I am in the air, simply just to have a good variety of photos to choose from. So right now the light is just perfect. 90 degrees 
to all the lines of the fields. So it just looks very aesthetic, very mathematically pleasing to look at. It is something I really, really like in my photos that they have these geometrical shapes and patterns. It just ups the aesthetic value so much. I really, really like this shot here. I was actually past this location two and a half weeks before at the exact same time of day where I got this photo. As you can see the photos are very similar, however by comparing them you can see that both the grass has grown but most significantly the shadows from the trees and the grass are noticeably longer on the right photo. It's fascinating how much of a difference only two and a half weeks make. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer the one with the short or the long shadows. If you struggle with composition in landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks. They're designed to be easy to read and are full of examples. You can get them and the light versions via the links down in the description. So all these small sequences are from different shoots where I'm just like heading out and have an idea and I go to photograph it, but I don't really feel that I can put it all into one video because I don't have that much to say about it. So I just clunk all these small sequences together in a video with like a common theme. So as you can see on the title, this video is sunset wide angle photography and yeah well the two first sequences were a little bit pre-sunset but still late in the day so right now i have come down to this lake where i've been swimming so many times as a child it is one of the cleanest lakes in denmark it's fantastic during summer uh, on, on good weather day. So a lot of people from Silkeborg, they come here and uh, take a swim. And I've even just seen a person who came swimming past here. It's a little bit cold today, I would say, but nevertheless. So I have also the past yeah, couple of weeks been hunting down different places where I have tried to find some boats I could photograph. I want a boat shot with a sunset behind it and I actually got to a place two weeks ago or something like that that were really really good but yeah for different reasons I didn't get to record anything from there but I did get the pictures so I will show those pictures too when I've shown the picture of this place and this place I would say it's really, really good. I just got a fantastic shot. I have uh, been bracketing with uh, five shots, aperture priority, and yeah, that's about it. The main thing I have been focusing on is the composition. So as you can see here, I put the camera in the water. I have this boat as my main subject, and then I have these other boats here leading in to the sunset that happens here, and I've had some clouds in the sky. The one thing I have been playing around with is how much of the ground over here I should include. So I chose to just cut the composition so I didn't include this boat laying on the ground over here. So all in all, a fairly simple shot. And I can see now that the sun is going down behind, behind some clouds, so not much more is going to happen tonight. So. Here's the pictures.
So if you like these pictures and how I edited them, I am very, very close to releasing my big Photoshop tutorial course. It's like 25 plus videos. Uh, if you're subscribed to my newsletter, uh, you will know firsthand. I will also make an announcement video here on YouTube. But until then, if you want to learn more about composition in landscape photography, be sure to get my two ebooks. There are links to them down in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I would highly appreciate both a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel.